guys um today is thursday and i have been working this morning but right now i'm gonna take a break and do some yoga um my back has been hurting a lot i think it's from paddling i was talking to my coach yesterday and he was saying it's um because i'm building my muscle in my back but i do think i need to stretch it out so i looked up uh, a youtube video for yoga beginners to strengthen um, your upper back and lower back so that's what we're gonna do i've been in yoga in a very long time maybe like i'm gonna do yoga this way maybe like um a year it was like pre-covid so like a year and a half when was covid Oh, a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's watch this YouTube video. Big breath in here. And as you exhale, using your core strength, draw your belly up and in towards your spine. Press your arms down into the floor. So you really stretch your back body. Then inhale. Lengthen your heart forward, open through your chest. Use your glute muscles to send your sitting bones to the sky. This may feel like a foreign sensation if you've never practiced like this before, but just try and find it. Be patient with yourself. Use those glute muscles to lift your sitting bones up as you draw your chest forward. Take another breath in here. You should feel your back muscles working. As you exhale, scoop your belly in towards your spine, rounding your spine up towards the sky. And you feel your whole spine stretching as you fold. So now we're going to lift halfway up, really focusing on the strength of your back. As you inhale, lengthen your heart forward. It's just like the cat and cow position, but now your feet are on the floor. So lengthen your chest forward. And you can even use your uh, glute muscles to think about sending your sitting bones up to the sky. So you really strengthen your back and feel your belly growing long. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, relax your spine. Let your body fold. Scoop your belly in towards your spine, just like our cat and cow. Let's try that again. Inhale. Find that strength in your low back. And lift your shoulder bones to the sky. And curl your heart away from the mat. You're going to feel your whole back working. Come back to center and bring your right hand across to your left knee, your left fingertips back, lift up nice and tall, and twist to the left side.
so cold. The water. That was a good 15 minute <coughs> work break. Whew. A little bit of heat in my body. Um, I haven't done yoga in a really long time. That felt really good. My back has been in so much pain. I need to do it more often. So I just <clears throat> went to the mailbox and I picked this up. Um, I got this from Bank of America. I like, <laughs> this is, I mean, thanks for the pin. I don't know. I get so many pins and I don't do anything with them. I like, I've had so many like random pins given to me. I also didn't even like know I was going to get this award. I just, I read it in an email today and then this came home. Um, basically, I used to have this drawer and I would just stick all my pins in there because I don't wear like suits and stuff i mean like i guess people that wear suits put pins on them maybe i should like get a jean jacket and put pins on it just kidding i already like lost a bunch of my pins so yeah that's cool yeah i got this for volunteering a lot and then i record my hours at work too for when i volunteer because they're able to um donate money to the organizations that i volunteer with just got to yacht club Getting ready to go to paddling practice. Keith is also here today for it. So I just got back home from paddling. We went seven miles today. Um, that is normal for weekdays. Um, yeah, today was at first paddling was like really tough the first boat i was in because um the steers person wasn't really that good so we were going like mm, we weren't straight and i made stroking and paddling a lot harder and then i switched on to another boat and the second boat was really good so i'm really happy about that and now we're home um there's not <coughs> not much in our fridge so i wanted to test out the tiktok ramen um what you need for that is one egg cucumber mayo as well as some garlic so i'm gonna test out the tiktok ramen with um the shin ramen so let's make this this is the ramen that i'm gonna use let's do it Get your water boiling and then put the ramen in. Okay, so in a bowl, put some egg, garlic, and some um, mayo, and then also put the seasonings in. Okay, get a fork, whisk it all up, boil your noodles, your nudes. Yeah. Okay, so um, once you mix everything in your bowl, you're gonna take like some water Incorporate some water in there. And then mix. So it gets all creamy. I've never done this, so I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. Very nice. And then mix it up. It's so like look at that. not as red as I expected. Huh. Looks so weird. Okay, we'll see how this looks. Okay. And then now we're gonna do this one. Okay. Okay, Keith it. got his ramen and he put some pork shoulder in it. And then this is just the one without it. And let's taste this all right everyone let's try this mm. how is it Yum. is it is it good yeah really good is it like, like the it. best ramen ever mm, it's got good spice too yeah yeah this stuff is money good job mm. baby this is apparently trending in japan oh wow 
really good, right? It makes it taste so much better. And it's so creamy. Mmm. It's still spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got really good spice. Okay, we're going to keep eating and watching Narcos. Thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow. Bye.